Congratulations to the Denver Nuggets, and now that the Nuggets are NBA champions, it's time to find out who is the best active NBA player from every ring total all the way from 0 to 4, and since this is an active list, I will base each decision on their current abilities heading into next season. This is not an all-time list. Without further ado, let's begin. The best active NBA player heading into next season with zero rings has a lot of great options from Luka Doncic, Jimmy Butler, Jason Tatum, Devin Booker, and James Harden just to name a few. But my pick at zero rings has to be Joel Embiid. While Joel might have had a disappointing playoff run, losing to the Celtics in a tough seven games, this doesn't take away from the fact that he's still one of the best two-way players heading into next year. And individually, you can make the argument that Luka Doncic and Jason Tatum are better individual playmakers. But if you're going to factor both sides of the court and all-around talent, Joel's defense makes this a more clear choice. And now for the crux of the video, the best one ring champ heading into next season. No time to waste for runners up, this is Giannis Antetokounmpo versus Nikola Jokic. The best thing to do right now is not be prisoner of the moment, but also just not look at stats on a surface level. If you decide to be prisoner of the moment, Nikola gets the choice here, no questions, and if you decide to look at things on a surface level, Giannis would get the pick here since he is the better two-way player. He averages 6.6 .6 more points per game while grabbing equal amount of rebounds, Nikola does get 4.1 more assists per game. And the fact that Giannis averages nearly 5 assists goes well underrated. On the defensive end, Giannis is the more versatile defender. He can defend all five positions, and he's the more athletic player. Nikola has the higher basketball IQ, is the better passer, much better free throw shooter, and the more efficient offensive player. Both have proven they can win at all at the highest level. Both are in their physical prime as they're both 28 years old. This is neck and neck when it comes to deciding who's the best player on the planet. The hardest part is comparing apples to oranges. Offensively, Giannis is like a skinnier, faster Shaquille O'Neal who can technically shoot threes. And of course, he isn't nowhere near as dominant as Shaq Diesel was, but on the flip side, he does have more range. Shaq was the legend in the key. Outside the paint, you're not going to see him scoring much points. The Joker is a real offensive unicorn. You can't really compare his game to any other player. We simply have never seen a big man with this type of passing ability and efficiency. He's an offensive savant. Plus, his defense is not terrible. It's just mediocre when you compare it to the league's best defenders like Giannis. Antetokounmpo's weaknesses are slightly easier to exploit, and they're both really hard to exploit, but his are just slightly easier. You can technically hack-a-shack him. If your team is good enough defensively, you can try Try to force him to be a jump shooter, and you can put ladders on the court. Well, the last one is a bit of a joke, but the Joker is no joke. Offensively speaking, Jokic has no glaring kryptonite. Sure, he's not a perfect player, no one is, but he's too good of a passer to double team. You can't leave him open outside. You can't really put anyone one-on-one -on -one against him either. One of these players just lost to Jimmy Butler, and the other just beat him. But again, you don't want to be prisoner of the moment. Ultimately, you got to ask yourself this. Is the gap in Giannis's defense wider than the gap in Nikola's offense? And by offense, I don't just mean scoring, because you can argue Giannis can put up more points per game. By offense, I mean the overall offensive game that includes passing, that includes range, that includes efficiency, that includes facilitating, and obviously scoring, of course. And to take a step back and talk about defense for a brief moment, Nikola's basketball IQ does count on the defensive end. He knows when to hedge the opposing team, and while his footwork is slower than Giannis's, he knows how to contest shots. Don't forget, Jokic had a defensive rating of 109.6. To compare that to Giannis, Giannis had a defensive rating of 107.7. It's only a three-point difference. And again, there probably isn't a wrong answer here. They're both really good players, there's no doubt about it, and this comparison is apples to oranges. That's how different their games are. I will admit this debate was easier a little while ago when Giannis was a champ and Nikola wasn't. Even though technically that is a logical crutch, a piece of jewelry doesn't make you a better basketball player. But it does represent a player's ability to win at the highest level, and now they both have said piece of jewelry. But when this video is specifically about active ring total, and we're talking about heading into next season, Giannis himself said the best player in the world is the person that's the last one standing. And the last one standing was Nikola Jokic. The two ring debate is simply between Kevin Durant versus Kawhi Leonard. Now an all time debate between these two is definitely a tough call. You can make great arguments for either player, but for a 2023 specific debate, no question, this goes to the player who has less questions and concerns about health going forward, and that is Kevin Durant. 
As for the three ring debate, considering that Udonis Haslam is technically now retired, there are not that many three ring champs in the NBA actively. Some players include JaVale McGee and Danny Green, but these two are way past their prime. My choice here is Kevon Looney, who actually started quite a bit for the Warriors this season and the season prior. He started 70 games while averaging 7 points per game and 9.3 rebounds, almost a double-double. Four rings is Steph vs. LeBron. And yeah, LeBron James just beat Steph in the playoffs this season, so prisoner of the moment would want you to choose the king. All time this goes to LeBron, no question, but heading into the 2023-24 season, LeBron will be 38, soon to be 39 in December, Steph will be 35, and then 36 in March. Curry's game isn't as physical as LeBron's, and both are still great players, but LeBron himself, while still under contract, did not seem too sure about his plans for next season. The Lakers, post-trade deadline, were the second best team. The Warriors look like their dynasty days might just be over, who knows, but this isn't a team debate. One-on-one, -on -one, LeBron and Curry are hard to compare. This again is apples to oranges. Father time is undefeated. LeBron is putting up a good fight, though. He just came off of a 28.9 point per game season. Curry just came off of a 29.4 point per game season. Curry has a higher PER, better effective field goal percentage, and more individual win shares than LeBron. So for that, my pick here has to be Steph Curry. And thus, these are the best active NBA players at every ring total. Let me know what you think of this list and what you want to see in the future. Don't forget to dunk on that like button and subscribe with notifications turned on. I'm Rebound Rewind, and I'll fast forward to you later.